Okay, this is a race uh, number, what is it, one, two, three, four. So it's the first race on Saturday. Wind's coming out of the northwest. And in the first race, current was a little bit more of a factor where the starting line was down um, closer towards the Gulf Stream, outside a little bit more. Uh, and then up, up at the top of the market, it was more inshore current uh, effect here. So we'll go ahead and play this out a little bit. Times down here, 11.05, that's where you'll see at the bottom right, bottom middle corner here. Coming up on a minute now. Forty. 30 seconds. And gun now. Look up, look, everybody went left, except for Gamecock, who was over, had to go back. Like a little righty out here. Puts me cock back into uh, cancel that. Gets him back into play a little bit here, which is good. Little knock inside here. They come back, but the angle's not still anything great. Looks like the right was just a little stronger at the top. Nobody real overstaying lay lines today. That's nice, at least in this part of it. Gamecock staying on the inside, which is good, and then pouncing out a little bit at the end there. Early jibe. Midnight's in first. Blazer. Looks like they jumped him on the jive there. Maybe midnight a little too deep and too slow there. See that? Blazer had a much faster jive. So if we look at what happened here, right past ley line maybe a little bit, uh, not too much. Looks like Blazer's just going to make it here. Or did they bail out? I think maybe they don't give them, I'm not sure. It looks like Yankee said they did not have room, so they bailed out. What I can do here, let's do this real quick, show you guys one of the things I can do here. Let's back this up a little bit and I can show, what do we got? So the boat's 37 feet, three, uh, three boat lengths, 111, and turn that into meters. So we can measure at about 33, almost 34 meters. Distance, measure distance, and from the mark's going to be more down right in this corner here. And then we can go, we can go 34 meters. Oh, let me try that again. 
34 meters, 33.8 to be exact, is the be exact 33.8 right right in there so if we back that up just a little bit this is you can see Yankee actually turned when they hit the zone here boom and if you drew a 90 degree line measure angle see if we can do this Let me do it the other way, do it from here. So you would say that Blazer does not have my 90 degree. Let me do it one more time. Try to be more precise right on the bow. Oh, I gotta do it the other way. Right, center stern, right to bow, 90 degrees. Blazer does not have overlap at the zone. I've used this data before in that scenario, so it's really good. Um, you know, and that's something you can do and use in a protest. You can ask for time to gather data and to, to do this analysis to use. I have, have done that. All right, we can go ahead and continue to play this out now. Like Yankee wants to go right here. Blazer coming back here nicely. So let's look at that. Let's back up here for a second. Now Blazer's midnight, midnight's ahead. Laser comes back. Yeah, no, it's still the same. Midnight still ahead there. A little bit of variety here. Game clock back in the play a little bit. Got a little closer on that. Right side up the beat seemed to be pretty good early. Let's see. Game clocks. Let's see how they do here. Looks like they've already passed Jenny. Staying out of the current on the inside, inside shore part. And they make a gain. Jibe. So these may be a little bit too far out, but they are going much slower coming in here. Big gain for them by not jibing out early. All right, let's go up the beat again. Big old lift inside, but fades. Game clock gets a lift, so the right side shift wins. Let's see what happens downwind. Midnight jibes out. Based on the last run, you would think that would be a bad thing. Let's see what happens here. Both sailing much deeper there. Very interesting. And again, I'm guesstimating on the finish line here. I really don't know. but I think Midnight wins that one. Looks that way, maybe. By jiving out early. Interesting. Pause. Let's take a look at the show step details and uh, you can go through this. 
fastest spot up win. The first beat was Blazer. Uh, second beat was Jenny. 7-2 downwind. Gamecock at 7-9-9. So that's why they did very well. Fastest boat downwind. And Blazer was the fastest on the last downwind. 